how would you like history to remember you? Frankly, I don't expect history to remember me. <laughs> but, but I would like my family to remember me. I try to make Thousand Oaks as good a place as I could help to make it be and that that's important to do in any community that you live in. It's kind of like an extended family and that I stood up for those things that I believed were important and I hope my family members do the same. We are here to honor a, a great First Lady of our city, former mayor, former council member, and uh, everybody's best friend, Frances Prince. It's been noted that Frances had her fingers in uh, many different areas of our community, certainly public service, the city council, the planning commission. Uh, she was the executive director of Senior Concerns. Uh, the Kanea Open Space Conservancy Agency, COSCA, um, was one of Frances's uh, brainchilds, if you will, because it essentially uh, puts a ring of open space around our community that is jointly held by the City of Thousand Oaks and the Park District, uh, joint powers agreement. So this is property, I think it's somewhere around 15,000 acres now, that can never be developed. It is in perpetuity for forever, and Francis had a, uh, a lead role in that. So I want to thank all our colleagues from the Park District for seeing your way clear to honoring uh, a former mayor on Park District property. Francis is the model for what it means to truly embody public service. Her heart for public service was so apparent in her commitment to numerous causes, including preserving the open space, promoting arts and literacy, caring for seniors, and supporting nonprofits and other charitable organizations. Francis has left a mark on every corner of our wonderful city. I think that it can be said she was one of the most well-liked, effective community leaders that we've had in the history of the city. We are now in a position to recognize her, the family, for all of her good deeds and things that she's done. And we thank the parks and recs in the city of Thousand Oaks for this recognition for a wonderful family. Family is what was most important to Fran. And I can say with all my heart, she was a maker and a shaker and a mover and a doer. And Harvey was right there pushing her the entire time. I want to express my great appreciation to the city of Thousand Oaks and all the representatives and others in attendance for honoring my sister Frances and my brother-in-law Harvey with this dedication of the wildflower play fields and monument plaque in their memory. Frances was the smartest person I ever knew. And not only was she smart, she had common sense and was always so well prepared on every issue that was being discussed. I'm sure that all the people she served with in Thousand Oaks can speak to that. On behalf of my sisters, my extended family, my uncle, really would like to thank all of you for coming out. Would very much like to thank you for the dedication of this park. Um, it really was, uh, uh, really was important to her and um, dedicating it to her memory and that little sign that I see when we drove in today is something that would absolutely have brought a smile to her face. Thank you very much for coming.